hello everyone welcome to park maths in this video i'm going to solve this amazing algebraic math problem that is a square minus b is equal to 73 and b square minus a is equal to 73 so here we need to find the values of a and b now to solve this question properly first of all we will write solution and we will rewrite these equations in the solution again and we will try to find the value of a and b so the equations are a square minus b is equal to 73 and the second equation is b square minus a is equal to 73 so first of all let's say this is equation number one and this is equation number two so first of all we will compare these equations since the right hand side of these two equations are the same so we will compare only the left hand sides so a square minus b will be equal to b square minus a now we will shift these two terms to the left hand side so this equation will become a square minus b it will become minus b square and it will become plus a because when a term is shipped to another side so its sign will be changed is equal to zero now let us rearrange these terms so it will become a square minus b square plus a minus b is equal to zero now let us close them in brackets now this is an algebraic identity a square minus b square so here we will expand this identity so it will become a minus b times a plus b plus a minus b is equal to zero now my dears look it to these two terms this a minus b in is common in these two terms so let us take a minus b common so it will become a minus b so here only a plus b is left let us remove the parenthesis and here plus only one is left is equal to zero now there are two possibilities this term will be equal to zero or this expression will be equal to zero so a minus b is equal to zero or a plus b plus one is equal to zero so first we will solve this is equation so a will be equal to b and here we will shift this plus one to the right hand side so this equation will become a plus b and it will become minus one so let us this is equation number third now we will add equation number one and equation number two so we will add the left hand side with the left hand side and right hand side with the right hand side so let us add equation number one and equation number two so equation number one left hand side is a square minus b plus and the left hand side of equation number two is b square minus a is equal to both has 73 at the right hand side so again let us rearrange these terms so it will become a square plus b square minus a minus b is equal to 3 plus 3 is 6 and 7 plus 7 is 14 so it is 146 now in the next step we will shift this minus a and minus b to the right hand side so they will become positive so a square plus b square is equal to 146 plus these two will become positive plus a and plus b now here we will put the value of a plus b from equation number third so this equation will become a square plus b square is equal to 146 plus its value is minus 1 so further it will become a square 
plus b square no 146 and plus minus is minus so 146 minus 1 is 145 so the value of a square plus b square is 145 let us suppose this is equation number 4 no from equation number 3 that is a plus b is equal to minus 1 so from equation number third that is a plus b is equal to minus 1 so let us take square on both sides so here we will explain this identity so it will become a square plus b square plus 2ab and it will become minus 1 whole square so it is positive 1 now here we will put the value of a square plus b square from this equation number 4 which is 145 so it will become 145 plus 2 times ab is equal to 1 now we will do the further steps here the previous equation is 145 plus 2 times ab is equal to 1 so here we will shift this 145 to the right hand side so it will become 2 times ab is equal to 1 minus 145 so 2 times ab will be equal to it is minus 144 now we divide both sides by 2 to find the value of ab so this 2 and this 2 will be cancelled with each other so only ab will be left and here minus divided by positive 2 is minus and 2 times 1 is 2 2 times 7 is 14 and 2 times 2 is 2 so it is 72 so the value of ab is minus 72 so let us this is equation number 5 now let us take a square on the famous algebraic identity that is a minus b whole square so a minus b whole square is equal to a square plus b square minus 2 times ab now here in the next step we will add and subtract 2 times ab so this equation will become a square plus b square minus 2ab so let's subtract and add minus 2ab now let us rearrange these terms so we will uh, shift this 2ab to here and it will become the algebraic identity so it will become a square plus b square plus 2 times ab and we will add these two terms so it will become minus 4 times ab no this is the right hand side of a positive algebraic identity a plus b whole square is equal to a square plus b square plus 2 times ab so we will replace it with a minus b whole square is equal to it was a plus b whole square minus 4 times a b now from equation number third and equation number fifth we will put the value of a plus b and a b so this equation will become a minus b whole square is equal to it will become minus one whole square because the value of a plus b in equation number third is minus one minus four times and the value of a b is minus 72 so it will become minus 72 so minus 1 square is 1 minus times minus s plus and 4 times 2 is 8 and 4 times 7 is 28 so a minus b whole square is equal to it will become 289 now we will take square root on both sides so this equation will become this square and this square root will be cancelled with each other so only a minus b will be left here and it was the square root of 289 is 17 so it is plus minus 17 now we can write this equation as a minus b 
इज इक्वल टू प्लस सेवनटीन और ए माइनस बी इज इक्वल टू माइनस सेवनटीन सो लेट दिस इज इक्वेशन नंबर सिक्स एंड दिस इज इक्वेशन नंबर सेवन नो वी विल एड इक्वेशन नंबर थर्ड एंड इक्वेशन नंबर सिक्स टू फाइंड द वैल्यू ऑफ ए और बी सो लेट अस एड इक्वेशन नंबर थर्ड एंड इक्वेशन नंबर सिक्स सो इक्वेशन नंबर थर्ड इज ए प्लस बी इज इक्वल टू माइनस वन एंड इक्वेशन नंबर सिक्स इज ए माइनस बी इज इक्वल टू प्लस सेवनटीन सो लेट अस एड दिस टू इक्वेशंस सो ए प्लस ए इज टू टाइम्स ए and this plus b and this minus b will be cancelled with each other is equal to minus 1 plus 17 is plus 16 now we will divide both sides by 2 this 2 and this 2 will be cancelled with each other so a is equal to 2 time 1 is 2 2 time 8 is 16 so 8 by 1 is 8 so the value of a is 8 now we will find the value of b by putting the value of a in an equation So let us put the value of a in this equation. So it will become the equation is a minus b is equal to seventeen. So the value of a is eight minus b is equal to seventeen. Now we will shift this eight to the right hand side, so it will become negative. So minus b will be equal to seventeen minus eight. So minus b is equal to Seventeen minus eight is nine. Now we will multiply both sides with a negative sign, so it will become positive, and it will become negative. So the value of b is minus nine. Now we will check that a is equal to eight and b is equal to minus nine. Are the exact and correct root of these equations or not? So for that we will substitute the values of a and b in these equations one by one. So first we will write these equations here. So the first equation is a square minus b is equal to seventy three. So here we will substitute the value of a and b. So the value of a is eight. Eight square minus and the value of b is minus nine is equal to seventy three. So eight square is sixty four. Minus time minus is plus nine is equal to seventy three. So sixty four plus nine is seventy three is equal to seventy three. Since both sides are equal, so it means that the value of a and b are the exact and correct roots of equation number one. Now we will check it for equation number two. So the equation number two is b square minus a is equal to Seventy-three. Now the value of b is minus nine whole square. And the value of a is eight is equal to seventy-three. So minus nine square is eighty-one minus eight is equal to seventy-three. Now eighty-one minus eight is seventy-three. So seventy-three is equal to seventy-three. So the value of a b are also correct for the equation number second. So it means that the value of a and the value of b are the exact and correct roots of this amazing algebraic math problem. And last, don't forget to subscribe our YouTube channel for such a more interesting math videos. Thank you so much for watching. Take care. See you in the next video. Bye bye.